So, bitch boys and bitch girls, no, we don't have bitch girls here. All the girls that are part of my channel are really nice family members. They don't do any harm to anyone. Appreciate you guys. So, you see partial fraction decomposition, whoa, everyone's most favorite job. Um, you see, we want to integrate with respect to x later on and we are only dependent on x squared terms right here. So let's replace this x squared as u for example. So that makes our life easier. u and that's also u. And you see that right here is a single factor. So let's put it in parentheses just for simplification purposes. And that means we need to decompose this now into two new fractions. One being a over u plus one plus the other being b over and now we have t squared times u plus 2 times t squared plus 1. And well, now we can just multiply both sides by this big denominator and see what we get at first. So it also means 1 is nothing but a times t squared u squared plus a times 2 t squared plus 1 at first. Um, well, and the second part plus b times u plus b. And now we can continue with this. You see um, on the left hand side we have a zero of degree polynomial, but on the right hand side we have a second degree polynomial. Da -da -da, that ain't good my boys. Why is this squared right here? No, we have a first degree polynomial. I'm stupid. Never mind. Um, you see we want to get rid of those terms right here. So we need a t squared times u plus b times u to be equal to zero. We are just going to compare coefficients. So let's get rid of this u, bring this b to the other side. And it also means that a t squared is nothing but negative b. And we have a new condition that we can plug into here actually. So it also means one is nothing but that cancels out and that cancels out. Now we have a two times t squared plus one and b is nothing but negative a t squared. And you see we can factor out the a once again. One of the t squared is going to cancel out. So we have a times t squared plus one. And now we can just divide both sides by this thing right here. That means a is nothing but one over t squared plus one. And we also know what our b is. That also means that b is nothing but negative t squared over t squared plus one. And that's it for the partial fraction decomposition. There's going to be another outtake in a second probably. <laughs> So I totally forgot to do this outtake right here. I really don't know why, but well, let's let's do it really quick. So we have introduced the substitution and we would like to differentiate both sides. So that also means that we have to differentiate the inverse tension. I made a video on that. It's going to take this form right here. One over one plus this function right here of x squared times the derivative of this argument. Yeah, just simple chain rule, you could say. And, well, I would like to rewrite this argument right here as nothing but x times x squared plus 2 to the negative 1 half power. Now we can differentiate this thing. That also means that ddx of this chunk is nothing but, well, at first, this first weird thing. So 1 over 1 plus this argument squared. So x squared over x squared plus 2 times. And you see, this thing differentiated this argument leaves us with the product rule. So I would like to differentiate x at first. So that's 1 over square root x squared plus 2. Okay, and what else could we do? Well, not what could we do, what do we have to do? Uh, I'm leaving the x where it is. So x and dragging the negative 1 half power down, reducing the power by 1. So negative 1 half. And then we have x squared plus 2 to the negative 3 over 2 and taking the inner derivative of this thing is nothing but 2 times x. 2 and 1 half is going to cancel out. This is nothing but x squared you could say. And let's bring this together. So we end up with 1 over 1 plus x squared over x squared plus 2. And also we have this 1 over square root x squared plus 2. And we also have this chunk right here. So negative x squared over x squared plus 2, square root, um, no, to the 3 over 2 power. And you see, this is nothing but um, square root x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 2, just using the exponent properties, the exponential properties. Okay, cool. And we can bring 
those to the same denominator if we would just at once this fraction right here by x squared plus 2. Okay, x squared plus 2. So bringing that together, you see this and that is going to cancel out to a 2. And we can just multiply those two together. So we end up with 1 over, no, 2 over. Let's bring this 2 in here already. Oh, gosh, that looks ugly. <laughs> okay, so you see this x squared plus 2 is going to cancel out on this one. So we end up with um, x squared plus 2 times square root x squared plus 2. And this is going to cancel out, so we end up with plus x squared square root x squared plus 2. Um, let me think for a second. Yeah, this is looking pretty good because this term and this chunk is the same, so this makes 2x squared. We can just factor out the 2, you could say. So this takes the form of 2 over 2 times x squared plus 1 square root x squared plus 2. And this and that is going to cancel out, and this is giving us the desired expression. Thank you guys for watching. Woo!